The rat's been let out the cage. E-bikes are actually allowed to race in e-bike races now. <laughs> and we're gonna talk about all those unsung heroes. Yeah, and we check out some radical new wheels. It's, it's the Dad Shed Show! Welcome to this week's Dirt Shed Show with Chain Reaction Cycles. Yeah, there's loads of stuff been going on in the mountain bike world this week, isn't there, Blake? Mm, a lot of new rules. Yeah, so should we get straight into news? Right, so first up, the UCI have just unveiled a whole bunch of new rules for 2019. There's some obscure ones in there, and there's actually some really good ones. Mm. Uh, first up is uh, e-bikes are actually allowed to race in uh, e-bike races okay. now. Well, actually, they're, they're, not, they're exempt from the no e-bike rule. Which you would figure is you would figure that obvious. would be an act. But anyway. more, more to the point, there are some UCI e-bike events coming on the calendar next year. So Sounds you're gonna have to good. tune into EMBN for that actually, because they're gonna be talking all about that stuff. Yes. But something that I like about this is a lot of e-bikes that are coming out now, the Canyon especially, mm. have got twin size wheels. So we've got a 29 mm -hmm. on front, 27 and a half on rear, just like that new intense we can talk about yeah. later Sorry, on. Later on. And now the UCI are gonna be allowing you to run different size wheels in the, in the races. So um, this thing with the wheel sizes, it's quite confusing. So mountain bike, it's not really an advantage, it's more mm. a preference thing. But I think it came in for road riding originally where some of the riders wanted to use smaller front wheels to give themselves an aero, okay, aero. advantage. Mm. Yeah, Like a cheese wedge. It's shape. not like aero is a problem with mountain bike. It's just not like we run skin suits anymore. No, things, we're so. using motocross gear. Yeah, still. exactly. So, yeah. Uh, right, talking about events, they're bringing pump track into the whole mix. Yeah, now that's strange, isn't it? Yeah, it's a fun thing. I, I agree. But I can see I the competitive sport within the pump track because I mean, it is physically, a it's a physically really hard demanding thing to do. Yeah. race itself. Also, they're bringing into snow alpine races. So uh, now it's going to be like a full season yeah. of UCI point That's events. insane. So Neil did, I think it was called Mountain of Hell or something like that. Yes. I think he did nearly look like 100 it. mile an hour or something ridiculous. 100 k on, yeah. Uh, yeah. on snow, which was like flat out fast. He said it didn't feel like it though, because yeah. the white out effect. <laughs> just everything's just the same yeah. all the way down. So, right, yes, the rat has been let out the building. Rat boy himself, Josh Bryslin, has left Santa Cruz from like mm. 10 years he's been with these people. Well, where indeed Santa might Cruz. he be going? I don't know. A lot of speculation on There's this a already. A lot of speculation. Yeah. But are his friends going to follow? Is Josh Lewis going to follow? As tail? in like the 50 to 1 crew? The 50 to mean? 1 crew. Are they going to venture over well, to I don't know. whatever I, other brand? It's hard going. to say. You know, I think there might be some clues in this. So they all run fabric, yeah? They all do, Yeah, yes. and if you look at their latest video, Three dumbs in there, so that's Ooh. Max, the new rider, mm -hmm. right? So he's on fabric. He's yeah. also riding Cannondale bike in that video, so mm. he's on a Cannondale Jekyll. In fact, actually, if you look in that video, I think it's called Nine to Five, that Whistler one. Yeah, there's a few shots in there where he's riding a bike that I've not seen before. Is that a 2020 bike? Maybe it might be a new Cannondale. Who knows? Well, Inspector Doddy on the Who knows? case. We don't know where. Hey, they that's were. just that's just theory. A lot of people are saying Transition and all sorts of other brands. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And that would suit him because they're kind of party guys. Yes, they like that thing. They do like that sort but, of thing. Um, yeah. What do you guys think? Where do you think he's going to end up? Hmm? Where do you hope he's going to end up? Hmm. Let us know in those comments. Okay, now next up is a really cool new bike from Intense. And I know you're a bit of an Intense fan mm -hmm. as well, like I always have been. So that's the Taser. Right, so the Taser way back used to be a hardtail, like a slalom style bike, and a short mm. travel bike for exactly the same thing. But this one is an e-bike. So this is quite a departure for Intense to launch a bike like this. Yeah. But I'm really excited about it. This thing looks so burly. So it's got the Shimano Steps E8000. Mm -hmm motor system on there with that big 504 watt hour battery in there. It's got like 160, 155 travel on it. It's got different size wheels, just like that Canyon, yep. which of course we know is allowed by the mm -hmm. UCI mm -hmm. now for racing. So you've got that big burly wheel out back and you've got the, the bigger wheel to get over the stuff yep. out front. I just think this thing looks like it an looks amazing. weapon, like doesn't it? it? Full yeah. carbon as well. Black and yellow, so like everyone's a danger. Getting on, yeah, everyone's getting onto the e-bike thing. They are, and it's funny because still a lot of people are on the fence with the e-bikes. Mm. And I do understand that, but I do think it's a bit of a misunderstanding about mm. what you can do yeah. on e-bikes. Did you see that video I did on EMBN about that slab? That How they up? climbed the slab. Like you could not do that Insane. on a normal bike. So right. I think it's opening up a new realm of what you can do on bikes. It's it's breaking open the box. Yeah. Now so. talk about UCI and all that. I've heard rumors of couple of riders that might be potentially signing for Intense for next year. Already on this bike? Already on this bike. Who's that then? Who, what have you heard? You're gonna have to, you're gonna have to. Oh, come on, go on. Have to, you have to wait till next year. Oh, you can't do that. 
Oh, dude, seriously. Okay, and finally in news this week is Chain Reaction Cycles are doing this Champions of Cycling thing. So basically, they're getting figureheads of cycling, champions of cycling, to talk about products that they feel really strongly about, they've always used within cycling. Mm -hmm. And what they want you to do is nominate your local and unsung heroes in cycling. So you can get involved with this. So you can get the chance to win a thousand pounds in a gift voucher for CRC. Just head over to their website, stick in your nomination and get the chance to win a thousand pounds. I think that's pretty cool actually, just talking about the whole unsung hero yes, scene. Because a lot yeah. of people kind of go yeah. under the radar. Which brings me on to a topic. I have an unsung hero. I have two hmm. actually. First off is my dad. He got me into mountain biking. Not a lot of people know that. He was doing wheelies and I was like, man, I want to be like my dad. Yeah, so that's he cool. was like, there, but the first time I got sponsored was because of this guy. It's a photographer. His name's Mark Lee Singh. He lives up in the Midlands. He took a few photos of myself doing some stunts and sent them over to the right people. It was DMR Bikes. And from there, that's where kind of my career started. I got my first free bike because of that man. Do you know what? I'm I don't have a particular unsung hero, but I'm going, I'm with you on photographers there. Yeah. So before before video and what we're doing was such an important thing, it was all documented in photos. Mm. And the photographers have probably one of the hardest jobs, like especially <laughs> at the races. So we've yeah. got all these amazing photos we see yeah. from the races, from people like Sven Martin yeah. and Martin Bissick. But those guys have to sit in the dark, the damp, the rain, all day long, yeah. every weekend of the year, getting those images. Snapping it doesn't matter gold. who's going to win, they have to get the Ex shot. Yes, yeah. They've got such a hard job. And then when the race finishes and everyone goes to party, yeah, yeah. They've got to edit their pictures, upload their pictures. Their job never ends. Yes. Well, I've got, there's another one. Unsung Heroes is all the GMBN creative crew behind 100%, the lens. Yeah. Those guys. Cold camera behind yeah. the lens. Yeah. So much effort into all these videos uh, just course, for us to down watch. Down on GMBN Tech. Oh. Wouldn't be tech without him. Exactly. So, I'd like to get you humans involved in the comments down below. Who is your unsung hero? What did they do? to inspire you in life, into cycling, into whatever certain hobby that you do. Let us know in the comments down below. Yeah, we'll pick it up next week. Tech of the week and it's time to go up to Tut, down to the side. Here's Doddy. Doddy, have you got can't any Can't interrupt me this week, I mate. know we can't. I'm here. Um, yep. In fact, I feel like we should be interrupting Martin just on principle. But, yeah, we should. But Martin, in, in what fact, are you doing? Let's not talk about him. Right, let's talk about these really sick new wheels from oh. Crank Brothers. So these are called the Synthesis and it's a brand new concept. So it's three different sets of wheels. Oh, it's cross nice. country, enduro and downhill. They all kind of look yep. similar, carbon fiber yep. wheels. But the thing that's cool is they're different front and back. Right, so the basic concept is out back you have a stiffer wheel, so it's got more spokes, they're thicker spokes, and there's more spoke tension in them. Mm -hmm. Obviously there's some really cool hub tech to talk about in a minute. The rim itself has more carbon construction on it, so it'll take more of a beating, right? And it's designed to give the tire Perfect. a real chiseled shape, mm -hmm. really cutting in hard on turns. Now up front, there's less spokes, they're lighter gauge spokes with less tensioning, and it's a lighter rim construction, and the idea is it's a bit more forgiving mm -hmm. on your hands. Ah. And the way they got to this is really, really quite cool and very different approach actually for any sort of company. So Crank Brothers have always had quite a big design team, yeah. but now they've got in touch with two of the best wheel researchers in the business. So it's Jason Shears, he's Mr. Envy. So oh. In fact, I lie, he's not Mr. Envy, but he was one of the guys one of the, who pioneered the rims for Envy. Yeah. So his belief was always super stiff and strong wheels. And then there's Mellow Boomister, and he's famous for making a single wall front rim or single wall carbon downhill rims okay. in fact, that are almost flexible so completely different schools yeah. of thought so they got they got together and knocked heads and basically they came up with a whole bunch of different sample wheels yeah and crank brothers got them all built up for enduro riders and downhill riders and they did blind testing wow. on all sorts of combos yeah. stiff stiff um flexible flexible, flexible flexi flexi yeah and all of the riders basically they all came to the same conclusion that the more flexible one up front and the stiff one out back was the best the fastest and the most comfortable. And well, I think both of the designers were totally shocked because yeah. they were both convinced that yeah. their method was best, but yeah. by working together, they've come up come with, with the it. perfect brain. Oh. And there's a whole bunch of other cool stuff. And if you want to find out more, I'm going to be showing you on the tech show or on I'm, Monday. I'm going to tune in for that. But hang on, you had a lot more tech. There's a lot more to this, isn't there? What, like the 144 points of engagement and the 2.5 degree angle between that, or the 15 degree on the other hub internals, or the magnetic pulls, or the hookless rim design, or the 1.8 or the two gauge spokes. <laughs> Tune into the tech show, we'll talk all about those wheels. They are sick.
All right, now it's time for fails and bails, which I absolutely love. Oh, Blake, get warmed one of my up. Favorites. Yeah, what I've we got? got one. I got one. We got? This is from Dwayne. He's from South Africa in Pretoria. He's oh, riding nice. his local bike park. He breaks his collarbone at the end, but he's on the road to recovery. He's all good. So he's all good. He sent this in to us. All right. Listen, listen to the commentary. His blood's like pumping. He sounds like you. This is amazing. <laughs> so, here's a nice view. It's a nice view. I'm gonna hit my first jump, guys. First jump. I'm gonna hit my first jump. He's turning his GoPro on. I am scared. He's got I a Titan Cruise. So it's a 29er. Flipping. Should be sailing scared. over the jump. Yeah, yeah, it does sound like you. Oh, yeah. Here he goes. He's dropping in. Oh, plenty of speed. Too much speed, maybe. Oi. Hey, that was alright. He's, he's excited. Oh, and another one. Another one. Oh, he's, he's, he's mastered getting it. Bigger. Oh, he went over the bars a little bit there. Hopefully. Oh, that one he cased and he Ooh. nearly went over the bar. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> Dude, you see the bike go flying out of the side. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Poor chap. Oh, mate. That's got us in the mood. It has. Run, VT. It's a done. Da geht's. Auf die Fresse und den Abhang runter. Right, it's Hacks and Bodgers time, but before we get started and start singing Doddy, because I hope you know what the song's all about, the lovely people at Chain Reactions are given the chance to, for you guys to win a hundred pound gift voucher to spend on their online store. hundred quid for making a bodge or a hack. And we're going to choose who's going to win this hundred quid. Hacks and Bodgers! 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 Yeah? Right. right. I'm going to go first, because okay. you got some awesome ones. So first up is from Tim. Right, check this bad boy out. Oh! So he's got one of those water bottles, like a Sig style. So you can water drink bottle. from either side, you yeah, want. But he's turned this into a tubeless inflation ah, device. That's what he's done. Now that is pretty cool. That's insane. I, like, think, that, I think that's about no, as good as you get. Although that's I, hack. I wouldn't fancy a chance of. Uh, that Imagine that firing off. Shattering in your eyeball. <laughs> yeah. But, but that's a good one. That is good. That's good. I think well it's good. Done. Well that's done. That's definitely a hack. That, that is one. definitely a hack. I think yeah. that's pretty good. Yeah. All right. Good. I've what got, you got them. Jeremy from Norwich, in the UK. Look at this. Oh. Tubeless. That's like Grace. a homemade version of a samurai sword. That. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. That is neat. So he's glued his whole thing in there, and he just slides it in, and he's got a little case there. Do you know who could have done with that? Well. Neil. When he went to race oh, at EWS, yeah, Neil could have done he strapped with it. loads of stuff on his bike. It looked like he was going bike packing. Yeah, where are you going bike packing, man? You're in a race. He would have gone faster if he'd have done this. Yeah, that's, that's a hack. That's a really good one. That's a good yeah. hack. Yeah, definitely, definitely well a good hack. All right, I've got one here. I'm not sure if this is a hack or a bodge. Right, this is from Abel in San uh, Jose. Bodge. So he's got his nice blue park tools work stand there, and he's fed up with his handlebars moving. So he's yeah. made this little device uh. to stop his bars turning. But cunningly, he's painted this park tool blue. Oh, so. Yeah? Um, Look at that! It's clever! Dude, you want to watch out in case the Park Tools uh, Infringement Officer, aka Calvin, he might come after you for making Locked this. It on your you've, front done door. A, you've done a pretty good job of uh, ripping off the Park Tools one. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's not bad, I think. Right, so there's a the chance is a chance to win a hundred pounds. Hundred quid! From Chain Reaction Cycles gift voucher to spend on their website. Now, I'm going to leave it to you, Doddy. Who is going to win? Oh, do you know the what? $100? They're genuinely, one, yeah. genuinely yeah, three great entries. Look at that. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. That's this is good, but genius. Arguably, these I, homemade high-pressure devices can be a bit dangerous. Uh, this one might be really good and not dangerous at all. Yeah. And I've made them out of coke And you might before. need the money to buy one. Maybe. Yeah. But um, personally, 
I'm kind of drawn to this one because that one. Because if you, if he wins a hundred quid voucher, you yeah. can go on chain reaction and buy the real one of these for fifteen quid. Fifteen pounds. And, and you've got a lot cool more stuff. money to spend on other things. Yeah. But actually, I'm going to throw it back to you. You should win. I think that one should win. All right, cool. There we go. Well done. Abel, in San Jose, there is a hundred quid voucher winging its way to you. All right, now it's time for caption contest. Now, yes, I've, I've heard it was a picture of me. And on, on your behalf, it was you. Yeah. Let's have a look at it again. I. Oh. Uh, uh, what are you looking at? All right, what all right, are you all right, looking okay. at? Dude, there's some really good ones actually. So Peter Nicola <laughs> says, uh, "Your face when you finally get all the tools you wanted." Uh, it's not yeah, bad. you're not examining bad. every yeah. single inch corner of that tool. Yeah, and we're going yeah. from Pim Smith's when Doddy is coming out of the closet, admits he's always had a thing for tools. But that's true. Which I have, and that's that pretty true. Old, but I think Lewis Hansen's got an amazing one. See? He says, uh, "I can almost see Neil with this magnifying glass." <laughs> That's, He's so small! That's amazing. I know, he fits in that hole. How tall is he? Like five foot four? Or so, five there, five? That's, there. Yeah. that's him. Right. All right, what's the last one then? We got one from Matt. It says, this week on GMBM Tech, Doddy shows you the tools you need to recreate his iconic hairstyle. <laughs> ha! Iconic, is it? That's Do you put cool. that round thing on your hair? Uh, yeah, kind of. Right, yeah. yeah. Well, like you a pick a winner because they've got a chance to win this nice GMBM water bottle. I'm going with a magnifying glass myself. Yes, where is... I think that's great. Where so is Neil? Uh, Lewis Anton. <laughs> Lewis Anton, Anton, this is your water bottle. It's in the post to you. Well done, dude. Good comment. Right, so... Caption for this. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> if you love the Dirt Shed show and you want to see this show every Friday, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Give us a massive thumbs up, like, because that inspires us. Yeah, to share continue. it around as well. Exactly. Let all your friends share know about away. us. Right, now in the comments. Yeah, cool. So we've got some great stuff that you guys have been talking about over the last week. First up from Kazi LeBlanc. When I got my mountain bike, I've loved mountain biking ever since I go to trails every day. GMBN has inspired me even more to ride oh, bike. That's what we love to hear. We love that. Do you know what inspires me and even work here? It makes me want to ride a bike right. more. So yeah, it inspires I think we're me. doing something right. Yeah, gotta fix my bike when yeah. I get home. You inspire me to do that. Next up is from uh, Christopher Django Johnson. A uh, defining moment in starting me riding has to be when I first saw dirty tricks and cunning stunts. Yes. Completely changed my perception of what was possible on a bike. Thanks, Martin. Yeah. This is all going on oh, from dude. last week's Dirt Check. We've got show. a copy of that floating around somewhere, haven't we? Yeah, haven't we? I haven't it's seen that for a long time. It's probably up there yeah. somewhere. What's yeah, that? that's a great video. Yeah, and that's video. really cool, yeah. actually. And a good shout because I think that's both of our era yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah. Watching that stuff. Um, MKXC, my life changing ride was my first one. Oh, yeah, way to go, dude. There you go. That was sick. Yeah. Uh, Dave Hodson, loving the show, guys and girl are awesome to watch. Um, all the great moments since I was young riding. Began to meet Wade Simmons and go for a shred of him. That was my favourite oh, moment. Such a cool yeah. guy. Dude, I completely agree. I completely, me with Cam McCall. Yeah. I was like, oh, Cam McCall. So I've, I've ridden with Wade a few times. Mm. Fact, my first run down A-line was following Brett Tippy and I had Wade behind me. Oh. I was wearing an open face helmet, I had no gloves, yeah. I had no glass on, I had no yeah. pads, yeah. and I'd never ridden there before. Wow. And they were like, just send it, it's fine. Yeah. And I was like, okay, cool. Okay, cool. And I didn't realise. I was like, Whoa, Whoa, is that So right? cool. <laughs> uh, Daryl A3, my first mountain bike ride at age 38, I scorpioned about 1k in with my new bike bouncing off my helmet and into the brush. 10k later, having a laugh with my mates over a beer, and looking at my dinged helmet, I was hooked. Dude, that oh, is no, sick. That you is so get cool. Crashed, yeah, if you crash and then you get. You're getting into mountain biking at 38, and then that's your first ride experience. That, that is could, amazing. That could put off people. But <laughs> it's only going to get better, well dude. Done. Stay with it. It will change mm -hmm. your life. Right, coming up on the channel this week, there's a lot going on. I am back in the kitchen, and I am cooking up some flapjacks for the trail. So they're oh. pretty tasty. So they're especially made for flapjack, our uh, video creator. Yes, yeah, because yeah, the iconic flapjack. Oh, yep. nice. Mm -hmm. We will love that. I'm looking forward to seeing Neil taking his bike packing back down the EWS course. Yes, yeah. <laughs> no, so it's, it's, it's Scott Ransom, and you get to see him actually at Finale Racing. So, fair play, that's a super hard race. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And he did it, so I'm really looking forward to seeing this. Yeah, so a lot coming up on the channel yeah. this week. And as you can see, Mr. Ashton is not here, so he's fired over the codes, and I am in charge of the bike vault. And you can be in charge of the super nice bell. Oh, definitely. Let's get into that bike vault. Right, let's have a look, see what we got. Oh, that's nice. That's, that's a white T130. Nice bike, that UK that's, company. Is that oh, that's, a, that's Snowden? It is, isn't it? Yeah, that's near the top, isn't it? That's, yeah. co that's coming in from Phil. Nice. That is nice. 
That's, Do you know what? That's, I'm almost going like straight it. out on this one. Yeah, look what he's done here on the back. That's yeah, super he's got a little, nice. That's got a little mud flap. Nice. Yep. Yeah, nice, super nice. That's super nice. Whee. Oh, Ooh, hello. Hey, 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 hey. Is that an entry from Dan McCaskill? <laughs> is that? Like yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's Thomas. Hey, that's sick, that bike. Thomas. That is a nice bike. He's from Germany. Look at that. It's Do you know what? Private playground. We don't often get to see trials bikes like that. No. I like the spider saddle. I'm calling it on behalf of Yeah, Martin. 100% super nice. <gasps> oh my goodness me. What is that? So that's an antidote, that? isn't it? Yeah, so high pivot Custom idler wheel. Oh, bike. Sorry, I'm calling it again. That's a super nice. That's just, it's. Dude, look how rude it looks. Look at it. Oh, Raw carbon. That. 13.2 kilograms. kilograms. One of the lightest bikes there. It is light for a downer bike, actually. Very light for a downer yeah. bike. Oh, that's up at Tidworth. Nice. It's good fun up there. Right. Super, Super nice. nice. I like the Odin shot. Whoa! Look at the depth of field he's got on that. I'd say that's the tilt shift button. On a, Has he got a tilt shift yeah. button? Okay. Yeah. But it's a really I'm nice shot. I flipping love that It's a nice colour. bike. Queen Elizabeth Country Park, Hampshire. Oh, the that's UK. quite a cool little spot. Samuel. That place, when it's wet, is like. Death. It's the slipperiest place on earth. Why is this a super nice vault? I think it nearly is. I didn't want to call it because I've called the last three. That's super nice. I'll call it. Super... I like how he's blended all the colours. And nice. look how the uh, pedals match the yeah, side post. Everything. Oh. Oh, is that a tie? Oh, it's titanium. It's a Stanton. Oh, you're killing us. What, what are you the doing? Hell is going? It's got. We've got Olin's fork. Olin's fork. Oh, mate. Come on. It's a super nice. Super oh, nice. What's, what's going, going on? on? <laughs> we don't do this. Oh! You can't keep sending oh these Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> we can't. We, we can't. can't. We can't do that one. But we, it is we, really it's nice. It's really nice. It's got the antenna. That yeah. Halo wheels on there. Okay. All right. Then, I'm gonna make a call on Martin's behalf here. Yeah. Pedals aren't quite a three o'clock. Oh! Uh, Martin would say that if he was here. Flipping it just because of that. Yeah. All right. I disagree with him, but that's Martin's rules. Look at this. Read that. What does it say on the seat post? It says next SR. Right next Race then. Fans. Nice. Yeah, Sorry. Cool. Oh! oh! That's nice. GT down a bike. That's... I'll tell you what, it's definitely not super nice. It's look, the angle of your the rear derailleur. derailleur mate. Yeah. Look at the derailleur. Why have you got a cassette like that on a downhill bike? Yeah, what the hell? You're climbing that thing, dude. You're going to snap that like chain, mate. Probably his only bike and he probably climbs it. Get a few more links in that chain and then you'd get a super nice. Yeah, nice. Oh! That's nice. Where's that? I do wow. love the colour of that. What a shot. I do like the colour. It does down. look like the Blake Samson Safari wardrobe colour, doesn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah Santa Cruz. If, if in doubt, beige. No. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Port Hills, Christchurch, New Zealand. Zealand. Yeah, that is rad. Great, New great bike. shot. I think that's really nice. That is nice. Yeah. Nice. Cool. Nice. Nice. I nice. like it. Yep. Oh, that's a pretty bad looking heart, isn't it? Yeah. What's that? I've never heard of those before. Nikita Spider. Nikita Spider. Nice in Serbia. Wicked. Wow. Not often get entries from over there. Author it's Milan. Nice. I'm getting confused. Are you from Serbia or Milan? No, it says Belgrade in Serbia. Oh. Location, yeah. Yeah. That's oh, nice. Nice. Definitely nice. I think it's nice. Where is the saddle gone? Blurred into the background. Oh, we're out oh. the bike fault. That was a good that bike fault, dude. So strong that Started bike off bolt. super hot there with loads of super nices. Woo wee. Damn. Don't forget, if you want to send your bike vault entries in, use our uploader service. It's super easy. The link is right there, and it's also in the description below this video. All you need to do is tell us a bit about yourself, where you're from, a bit about your bike. That simple, and take some wicked shots of your bikes. And you can do this for every part of the show, hacks and bodges, anything related to putting in your content so you can get on the show. Right, Insta bangers. Who are you hitting us up with, yes. Blake? I'm gonna go with Mad Dog Boris. Ah, he's an he unsung a hero. Dog. He's got some of the funniest tattoos ever. He has yeah. some incredible tattoos, yes, yeah. that other athletes kind of put on him. Yep. He's one to follow. He's a photographer. He follows the EWS. He does a lot. Amazing photographer, Amazing actually. Amazing photographer. Yeah, he's a good guy, Boris. Give him a follow, because he's pretty good. And I'm gonna throw you over to Freedom. So that Ooh, is Max yeah. Nurekar. So he's the latest of the 50 to 1 crew, mm -hmm. uh, running for Fabric at the moment, and I'm guessing it might be on a Cannondale bike, but you want to check this guy out. It's such a sick rider and he's just, it's like he's always supposed to have been in that crew. Yeah. He's in the latest nine to five video with him. Yeah. Got a really fun feed and he's a quite herbal sort of guy. Nice. Definitely worth a follow. All right, now it's time for viewer edits. We've got a corker oh, wow. this week, Blake. Mm -hmm. So 
This is from Mitchell and he's in uh, Dundin in New Zealand. <laughs> so description, just learning some skills before taking it to the dirt. Yep. Blake oh. was my inspiration to learn how to dirt jump. And I bought this bike really to have fun on the dirt jumps. After riding Perfect. for two months, I can say that the simplest bike teaches you the most important skills and riding the street is the best thing you can do to progress your riding. Exactly, right exactly. Hit yeah. it up, let's have a look at it, dude. Ooh, it sounds yeah. good already. Oh, look at the intro. Nicely like, shot. On the coping. Yeah. Drop straight in, I hope. Drop straight nice. in, look at that. Bit of fly nice. out. Oh, yeah. nice cut. Yeah, nice cut. Oh, that's cool, cross that bridge. It's round Down on the, the wide stairs. angle. Nice. It's good actually. It, it does good. prove the fact that you can ride riding street is really good. So you can yeah. replicate a lot of stuff you can find yeah, off road. Yeah. Oh, big 180. See, fakey? He can fakey. Nice. He can fakey. Like a bit of fakey action. Look at that air. Yeah. Nice. It was good air and out a quarter. Yeah. Dropping in, bro. I like how you cut the video. I do like a nice concrete skate park. Yeah. That's a pretty cool skate park. I've not ridden park for so long. Donkeys, yes. Yeah. Out of yeah. the streets. Bit of trials. Nice. See all you can do in it. Hippity hoppity off the bench. Yeah. Oh, thank you very much, Mitchell, for sending in your viewers. Yeah, that was pretty cool. That was a really good video and great yeah. way to showcase what you can do riding a bit of street. Actually. Exactly. Yeah. Street, skate park, getting all those skills, you know, using a bike that's a yeah. hard tail and it's a jump bike. Don't like forget, it. You can get your videos in as well. Use that uploader. It's all about the uploader. Get them in and we'll give you, I don't know, how many views was it now? A million? Loads. Right guys, now it's time for my favourite part of the Dirt Shed show, which is Grom of the Week. And this week we have submission from Aston. Now he's been shredding his Norco fluid full suspension bike around Whistler Bike Park. And seriously, this kid has some skills. Now he's inspired by his favourite GMBM rider, which is Blake. Um, now, Aston really wants to be the next GMBN team rider. So watch this space because in a few years, he may actually be on the show. Now, we absolutely love all your submissions. So please keep sending them in by the GMBN uploader service and you may be able to see your Grom on the show soon. Competition winners. Yes, yeah, so first up, we're announcing the winners of the Physique shoes. That's from the unboxing I did. So we're giving away five pairs. So five of you lucky viewers, your names are on the screen now, get to win your choice of Physique well shoes. So you can expect an email from us in the next week or so, uh, and you'll need to detail the sizing and the model that you want. So congratulations, yeah, guys. Yeah, congratulations. Now we're gonna continue on with that competition giveaway theme. We're giving away one of these long sleeve race jerseys that we love to wear it's winter time so it's going to keep those arms warm of your choice links in the description what's your favorite one because i got my eyes on the pink one to be fair i do like the pink one but it clashes with my bike uh, so yeah. i'd have to say the black and gold one right now Ooh, i think that's my perfect. favorite but good luck hopefully you enjoyed the show don't forget to hit the subscribe button to subscribe to get to see the show every friday and potentially other content that we put out yeah, and if you want to see another great video, you've got to check out the slab. This is the most insane yes. climb you'll see tackled on a bike. It's an e-bike, so it's controversial, but that makes it much more worthwhile watching. Mm -hmm. Click on that bad boy down yep. there. And we'll see you next Friday for another Dirt Shed show. And I'll be back as well. Have a good weekend. See you later. See ya.